Well, we always recognize that it's a minority parliament. It's a fact, right? As House leader, I know exactly the kind of environment uh, I'm, I'm involving in, and that's why since day one, uh, I, 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 I called the House leaders, gave my cell phone, and I'm, been, I'm in touch with them on a regular basis uh, all the time, I would say, and I think we have very good relationships. But th that being said, I cannot get into the content of the negotiations out of respect for them. There are discussions with, with uh, all, all the different parties, but what I'm asking them is, is, is to consider the importance of this bill, the fact that it facilitates payments for kids with disabilities, it expands access to wage subsidy, for example, for senior workers. Uh, I mean, there are good things in this bill that are extremely important. It's there, it's in front of us. What I'm asking them is to allow us to debate it. It's, it's not about frustration here, it's about um, deception. Deception of being disappointed. On, and I'm asking, actually, why parties that asked us to do something but people with disabilities wouldn't allow this debate to happen today. Deception, again, and the question, actually, question why parties that have asked to, for the expansion of the wage subsidy, for, for example, for senior workers, why aren't, why aren't they allowing the debate today? So... We're in the minority parliament, and even a bit more complicated than that, we're in a minority parliament in the middle of a pandemic, because sometimes we, we forget that. We have these discussions as if we, these were normal times. They're not normal times. And that's why we put so many measures in place throughout the spring, and this is to reinforce what we did, and Carla has been doing an incredible job, and we need this bill, and, but to get it, we need the opposition.